Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing uh, alkene alkyne metathesis uh, in the last lecture and we, uh, we have been uh, talking about it in the context of uh, the individual metathesis reactions that is the alkene metathesis and alkyne metathesis. What we have also learned is the fact that uh, these alkene alkyne metathesis uh, indeed uh, uh, is metathesis reaction in which the alkene uh, is uh, undergoes metathesis first followed by the alkene alkyne and uh, in principle uh, uh, they, these are uh, in short they are called enine metathesis. Uh, in this uh, con context, uh, in our previous uh, uh, lecture, we had uh, looked into uh, the mechanism uh, which uh, uh, is relevant for in first pathway or which it uh, simply means that the alkenes undergo metathesis first uh, followed by the metathesis of the uh, alkyne and uh, what is uh, the implication of this mechanism is that a metal carbene species is the active species uh, uh, for uh, performing this metathesis reaction. So, uh, in the previous class we have also uh, uh, looked into the full catalytic uh, uh, pathway for this in first uh, mechanism and in uh, today's class we are going to look at uh, different factors which are put in place uh, 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 to uh, carry out this uh, uh, enine metathesis in a in first uh, pathway uh, and uh, uh, in the process also to avoid uh, uh, cross metathesis or other side metathesis reactions which might as well uh, also be carried out under uh, uh, similar uh, conditions. So, one of the uh, safeguard in place to carry out this enine metathesis reaction is that uh, these reactions enine metathesis these reactions are conducted under high dilution conditions uh, conditions to avoid uh, to avoid uh, competing Uh, cross alkene metathesis or cross alkyne metathesis reactions. And uh, uh, these uh, uh, these uh, enine metathesis, in particular, uh, 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 is more applicable for uh, ring closing enine metathesis. reactions and, uh, th and these reactions are nothing but intramolecular metathesis reactions so 
So, uh, 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 you know, uh, it seems very uh, intuitive uh, to think that uh, these intramolecular uh, enine metathesis are carried out under high dilution conditions in order to uh, suppress all other kind of cross metathesis which are intermolecular in nature. So, other cross uh, metathesis which have been suppressed by these methods uh, are for example, cross uh, uh, cross alkene metathesis and cross alkyne metathesis and both of these intermolecular uh, metathesis reactions. Uh, so, it is uh, a no surprise that these uh, 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 in order to suppress intermolecular metathesis reactions like cross metathesis and uh, cross alkene metathesis and cross alkyne metathesis, uh, this uh, uh, ring closing uh, enine metathesis or R uh, C E Y M uh, in short what is called uh, which is a intramolecular reaction uh, that uh, is carried out under high dilute conditions. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, uh, now a lot of uh, investigation has been performed with respect to establishing the uh, mechanism of this E9 metathesis reaction as we are overseeing and uh, uh, in um, one of a uh, uh, seminal example by Mori uh, et al. Uh, uh, who had showed that by taking uh, uh, suitable substrates, presence of ethylene as a gas provides better uh, opportunity for catalyst uh, regeneration. So, example by Mori in JOC Journal of Organic Chemistry 1998-63. Six zero eight two to six zero eight three uh, showed presence of showed the presence of excess ethylene provides. better opportunity for catalyst regeneration. Uh, so, this provides better opportunity for catalyst regeneration and uh, this is uh, has been developed for the system shown over here. one more percent and ethylene one atmosphere gave the cyclic compound. Now, uh, the advantage of ethylene was uh, ethylene maintains a higher concentration of the active catalyst maintains higher concentration of active catalyst active 
active catalyst and reduces and reduces catalyst in resting state. Now, this uh, 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 is uh, shown by the equations. For example, uh, for example, uh, uh, this substrate and the catalyst they would react uh, and in the uh, process which was discussed earlier would generate this uh, uh, active species uh, which is the ruthenium carbene moiety attached to this cyclo uh, uh, ring uh, giving a um, precursor which is conjugated uh, uh, or this is properly called as the vinyl carbene. Uh, uh, so, that uh, in presence of ethylene uh, would give uh, uh, one atmosphere of ethylene would give this metallocyclobutane species and that uh, uh, would undergo a rearrangement as is shown over here to give the product plus the active species now this is a, a, a different active species different active species uh, compared uh, to the active species which is shown over here and again reacts with the substrate as is shown here to again give a metallocyclobutane ruthenium compound so this active species comes again and then reacts with the substrate to give this metallocyclobutane compound which eliminates ethylene to give the active species so uh, 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 which is uh, another uh, active species as is uh, formed over here uh, so uh, in terms of active species what we see is that there are uh, about uh, three active species uh, the first one being this second one being this third one being this that are being formed so uh, if we look at the earlier statement that uh, what has been achieved by ethylene 
that uh, ethylene uh, maintains higher concentration of the uh, active catalyst. So, all of these uh, can now uh, come uh, into the cycle uh, and uh, carry out this metathesis. And the second point it says that reduces catalyst resting state, uh, because all of these active species can further uh, 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 participate in the reaction. So, uh, uh, they reduces uh, the uh, active state. Now, um, uh, another uh, take home message is uh, that uh, the catalyst species can also undergo self metathesis. as is shown over here. To give metallocyclobutane lutetium compound and that can undergo rearrangement as it is shown to give to give these uh, uh, two uh, species. Now, now this uh, 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 is an interesting uh, improvement on inline methesis and what uh, it does is that by carrying the reaction under high dilute condition also in presence of uh, 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 gases like ethylene, uh, uh, the catalyst uh, uh, resting state uh, light, uh, time is reduced and the effectivity of the reaction uh, 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 is increased. Now, uh, uh, this uh, 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 leads, uh, uh, this is uh, building up more on this in, I, in first uh, um, uh, in first uh, mechanism where uh, the alkene uh, is formed first, uh, uh, may, uh, undergoes metathesis first. Now, there is also uh, another uh, uh, um, a line of investigation which was on the ion first mechanism in which uh, uh, the uh, alkyne would undergo metathesis uh, first. Uh, but uh, uh, this uh, uh, from the experimental evidence, uh, experimental studies it has shown that an alkyne first pathway would lead to various linear isomers, the selectivity would not be as good as for the E9 uh, in first pathway. So, an alkyne first or ion first pathway would lead to to a mixture of regioisomers And this is uh, illustrated by this uh, beautiful example for example for the substrate uh, that reacting with the active species. So, uh, 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 what, what we have over here is this alkene reacting with the active species uh, carbene in this ion first uh, pathway resulting in this metallocyclobutene.
metallocyclobutene. In compound. Now, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the mixture of legioisomers, uh, uh, the selective issue, it issue comes from the fact that there are two kinds of metallocyclobutene can be formed, the other being So the catalyst can uh, bind in both ways, one is this, the other is this and this would give a, a product as is shown over here. Whereas, the other mode of binding would give a product which is shown over here. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, these two products are different kind of active species and they can undergo exchange or interchange uh, from one form to other depending on isomerization rate. and which depends on dilution. So, these two species which are formed by the differential binding of this uh, 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 ruthenium uh, uh, carbene species to the alkyne uh, would result in two different active species which can also uh, interchange depending on the dilution. And as a result, the products that emerge uh, from there are also a mixture of products. As is shown here, now this this is formed from the cyclization of this carbonic species with this olefin which gives a six membered ring whereas uh, the cyclization of this carbon species uh, with this would give a five membered ring as is shown here. And what we see is that uh, the, uh, the mixture of two different, this is a five membered ring uh, that two different mixture uh, is formed uh, if this was uh, going to be a, a 
ion first uh, uh, mechanism and that uh, arises because of formation of two different uh, active species and that uh, uh, of because of the binding uh, of this active species in two different pathway. So, uh, no, uh, even uh, uh, because of the complexity in the number uh, of different products uh, obtained uh, in terms of uh, the uh, loss of regioisomers formed uh, if the reaction were to proceed by alkyne first pathway. Uh, uh, the evidences based on NMR and other mechanistic study uh, does uh, favor uh, these uh, uh, in first pathway uh, where uh, such a problem uh, of regioisomerism uh, does not uh, uh, appear. So, with this uh, we come uh, to the end of uh, today's discussion on uh, the various uh, mechanistic aspects of uh, uh, alkyne or ion first uh, pathway uh, which uh, uh, has been discarded uh, given the fact that uh, this mechanism if at all would happen would uh, uh, show the formation of uh, uh, various kinds of regioisomers uh, because uh, of differential binding of the active species to the alkene. However, uh, such a possibility it does not uh, uh, is, is observed uh, in the real uh, E9 uh, metathesis reaction which supports the earlier proposed mechanism that this is an uh, in first uh, uh, pathway which uh, is prevalent uh, in the E9 metathesis pathway. Now, with this uh, uh, let me just uh, sum up uh, what we had been discussing in today's class. Uh, in today's lecture we have looked at uh, uh, the me uh, method involved in improving uh, uh, this catalyst uh, of E9 meta metathesis and this has been done by performing this E9 metathesis in presence of one atmosphere ethylene. What ethylene does actually is uh, that it uh, um, it uh, uh, provides a, b a better opportunity for catalyst regeneration uh, by maintaining a higher concentration of the active catalyst and also uh, decreases uh, the uh, resting states of the uh, catalyst. So, basically a presence of ethylene uh, 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 helps in uh, carrying out uh, these uh, E9 metathesis uh, uh, reactions better. And also uh, these reactions we have noticed is that uh, uh, they are carried out under high dilution conditions in order to avoid cross alkene metathesis and cross alkyne metathesis uh, reactions occurring under concentrated uh, conditions. This is quite intuitive given the fact that cross alkene metathesis and cross alkyne metathesis are both uh, intermolecular phenomenon whereas, uh, this ring closing uh, 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 E9 metathesis is an intramolecular uh, phenomenon and they are uh, better done uh, under uh, dilute conditions. We have also uh, looked uh, in the possible uh, pathway of uh, uh, ion first uh, mechanism and what uh, is the main drawback of ion first mechanism is that it, uh, uh, it uh, produces a large number of regioisomers and uh, there is a lo uh, lack of product selectivity. However, given the fact that these E9 metathesis, uh, metathesis reactions are highly selective and exclusively gives one product that also uh, provides a circumstantial evidence in favor of E first mechanism. So, with this uh, I uh, come to the conclusion of today's lecture we are going to uh, take a look at uh, some more examples of uh, enine metathesis or alkene alkyne metathesis when we may, uh, meet next uh, uh, in the course. Till then goodbye and thank you.